quote the Customs Act 2015, Act 891. And to be specific, I'm quoting from Section 67 of, of the Act. And Section 67 1, Customs Valuation, states that for customs purposes, customs value is the transaction value or the price actually paid or payable for goods imported into the country, except in cases where provisions, provision is specifically made for another method of determining customs value. And the provisions, the exceptions are in section 68. And the exceptions are only for risk management purposes. Because as I said, this act, Act 891, makes the introduction of benchmark value, of benchmark valuation illegal. This was done under the NDC, and we insist that under the NDC, we put in place measures to abolish benchmark valuation. Because at the time, Ghana was not compliant under the World Customs Organization and World Trade Organization. So in order for us to be compliant, we had to come out with this act to ensure that we become compliant and also to outlaw it. Unfortunately, my opinion, I think, because it is illegal for us to um, implement or use benchmark valuation as we speak, benchmark valuation should not even be used as a way of assessing customs or import duties. So I see no reason why government has decided to instead reduce it by half, but rather what they should do is outlaw it completely because benchmark valuation is illegal, it's against World Customs Organization, it's against World Trade Organization. I think I've given you the mathematics already. Clearly, what I've seen is that that is not going to impact on the bottom line. Import duties are not going to be reduced by 50%, contrary to the claim. If you are to clear your car from today, the prices are not going to come down by 30%. I think I've said that from the mathematics that we have done, we can tell you confidently and project confidently that about 80% of the goods will not see any reduction at all. The impact will be zero. 